Stop what you are doing right now because everything you thought you knew about the best value computer on the planet is about to change. If you have been looking at your setup and thinking about upgrading, or if you're just seconds away from pulling the trigger on a current Mac, you need to hit the pause button immediately. We're looking at the future of the desktop, and the leaks coming out about the 2026 Mac Mini M5 are not just updates. They are absolute game changers. We're talking about a machine that takes the already legendary status of the Mac Mini and pushes it into a territory we didn't think was possible for a computer of this size. The best value Mac didn't just get better. It got completely reinvented under the hood, and today we are going deep into every single detail, from the release date to the raw power metrics that will blow your mind. To understand where we are going, we have to look at where we are right now. The end of 2024 gave us a gift that tech enthusiasts have been waiting nearly 15 years for. Apple finally redesigned the Mac Mini. They shrank it down into this tiny, incredible box that sits on your desk and barely takes up any space. The M4 Mac Mini was, and still is, a tiny powerhouse. It launched with a 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and for the first time, 16 gigabytes of RAM as the standard. It was a machine that you could pick up for $599, and nowadays, you can find it for even less. It was perfect. It was the golden standard of computing. But as good as that machine is, the technology world moves fast and the next generation is coming to claim the throne. Let's address the elephant in the room first, the design. When the M5 and M5 Pro Mac Minis drop in 2026, do not expect a visual revolution. It took Apple over a decade to give us the current chassis, so they're going to stick with this form factor for a long time. That ultra-compact, sleek aluminum box is here to stay. And yes, for those of you who have strong feelings about it, that means the power button is staying exactly where it is, on the bottom. You might not love reaching underneath to turn it on, but considering how little space this thing takes up, it is a compromise most of us are willing to make. The outside might look identical, but as is the case with most Apple updates, the real magic is happening where you can't see it. It is all about what is under the hood. This brings us to the heartbeat of this new machine, the M5 chip. We actually have a very clear picture of what this chip can do because we have seen variations of it pop up in other high-end Apple devices like the Vision Pro updates and the iPad Pro. If you're a numbers person, you might look at the CPU performance and think it is just a modest bump. We're looking at roughly a 10 to 15% increase in CPU speeds compared to the M4. It keeps that same architecture of six efficiency cores and four performance cores. Now, before you roll your eyes at a 10% gain, remember that the M4 was already a screamer. It was incredibly fast. So, taking a chip that was already leading the industry and making it 15% faster is actually significant. It ensures that snappy, instant load feel for years to come. However, the CPU is not the headline story here. The real reason you should be excited, and the reason this video might save you money, is the graphics performance. The GPU on the M5 is seeing a massive generational leap. We're talking about the graphics cores being up to 45% faster than the M4. That is nearly a 50% jump in graphical power in a single generation. While it still uses a 10-core GPU setup, the architecture behind those cores has been completely overhauled. It includes new AI enhancers, similar to technology we have seen in the A19 Pro chips. This means for video editing, rendering, gaming, and any task that leans on the GPU, the M5 Mac Mini is going to absolutely crush its predecessor. It turns this budget-friendly desktop into a legitimate workstation for creatives. Now, for the power users, the people who need more than just great, there's the M5 Pro. If you're someone who pushes your machine to the limit with complex 3D modeling or heavy code compilation, the leaks regarding the M5 Pro chip are fascinating. It looks like we're going to get two distinct versions of the Pro chip. There will be a binned version which features a 14-core CPU, M, odd A up of four efficiency cores and 10 performance cores. But then there is the unbinned beast. The top tier M5 Pro is rumored to pack a 16-core CPU with 12 performance cores. 12 performance cores in a Mac Mini is absurd in the best way possible. 
It transforms this tiny box into a computer that rivals massive tower PCs. It is a screamer of a device that will handle virtually anything you throw at it. Of course, raw power means nothing if you don't have the memory and storage to back it up. We need to talk about RAM and SSDs because this is usually where Apple gets a little stingy. For the standard M5 Mac Mini, it is highly likely that the RAM configurations will remain the same as the current generation. You will be looking at options for 16, 24, or 32 gigabytes of unified memory. While we would always love to see more, starting at 16 is still a solid baseline for most users. The bigger question mark is storage. Currently, the base model comes with a 256 gigabyte SSD. In a world of 4K video and massive applications, 256 gigabytes fills up instantly. There is a very strong hope and some rumors pointing to it, that Apple might finally bump the base storage to 512 gigabytes. If they do that, it makes the value proposition undeniable. However, if they stick to 256, you will likely have to pay that Apple tax to upgrade to a usable amount. On the M5 Pro side of things, the outlook is a bit better. The current Pro models start at 512 gigabytes, so it is safe to assume the M5 Pro will retain that. But there is a slight chance, a dream really, that they could bump the Pro base storage to one terabyte. That would be incredible, but don't bet your house on it. What we do know is that you will be able to configure these machines with massive amounts of storage, likely up to four terabytes if you have a budget for it. RAM on the Pro models will likely follow the current trend as well, starting at 24 gigabytes and going up to 64 gigabytes. It is a setup designed to last you for five, or six years without slowing down. So, when can you actually buy this thing? This is the most critical part of the leak. We're looking at a release window around WWDC 2026. Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference usually takes place in the first full week of June. The pattern suggests they will announce the M5 Mac Mini during the keynote, and pre-orders will likely go live almost immediately, with the devices hitting store shelves about a week later. So, we are targeting mid-June 2026. If you can hold out until then, you're going to be rewarded with a significantly better machine. And finally, let's talk about the price because this is the best value Mac for a reason. Despite all these upgrades, the 45% faster GPU, the faster CPU, the AI enhancements, the pricing is rumored to stay exactly the same. The base Model M 5 Mac Mini is expected to launch at that sweet spot of $599. That is an incredible price for the performance you are getting. If you're eyeing the M5 Pro, the bin version will likely start at $1,399. Apple knows they have a winner at these price points, and messing with them would be a mistake. In conclusion, the Mac Mini M5 isn't just a small spec bump. It is a maturation of the platform. It keeps the design we love, fixes the internal bottlenecks with a massive GPU upgrade, and keeps the price accessible. It is shaping up to be the absolute king of desktop computing value for the foreseeable future. If you're sitting on the fence, my advice is to wait. June 2026 is going to bring us something special. I want to know what you think. Is the 45% GPU boost enough to make you upgrade? Are you disappointed the design isn't changing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share the video with your friends who are looking for a new computer, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on the future of tech. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.